First up is the episode Ma and Pa's Big Hurrah, an episode where SpongeBob's parents come back for the first time in like a long time. Take a look. <laughs> Well, we'll just have to grow a new home. And in the meantime, we can stay with our son. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Your house? Oh, no. Stay with me? Why, of course you can. I just thought of something. My parents haven't seen me in a while. They'll be expecting their son to be a little more, well, adult. Hey, look at me! be fun, dear. I'm looking forward to hanging out with a hip young urbanite like our boy. <laughs> huh? Hello, Mata. Peter. This is truly a pleasure. Man, it's really cool to see Harold and Margaret square pants back in Bikini Bottom. But this time around, SpongeBob is very different. He's turned into a very boring old man. Here, take a look at these clips. We also have the first mistake. Hopefully you guys can spot it. Four o'clock in the afternoon. What do you say we sneak out and have some fun? Way ahead of ya. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Mature, it's time for you to have some fun! It's Bikini Bottom After Dark, baby! Bubbles won't! <laughs> this one is pretty straightforward. So as you guys know, this is Conch Street. It's where Squidward, Spongebob, and Patrick live. And as you can see, Patrick's house is right here. But in this shot, they just didn't draw Patrick's house. And like, dude, look at the gap. It should be right there. So talk about a mistake. Let's move over to mistake number two, though. And let's see if you guys can spot this one. Excuse me. <laughs> Now, to be honest, I personally had a hard time finding this one, but take a look at this nurse right here. As you can see, she's wearing these fresh kicks, these fresh shoes, but as SpongeBob runs past her, they just forgot to draw her feet and the shoes. It's a really weird animation error. Like at first she looks like this, she has shoes, but then she looks like this and doesn't have shoes or feet. Weird. And I have one more mistake, so yeah. This one happens really fast, but as Harold and Margaret skate their way back to SpongeBob's house, Harold's sleeve is uncolored for a few frames, resulting in it being like blue. It's supposed to be white, but it's blue. So yeah, three mistakes in this one episode. It is a good episode though, but let's move over to another season three banger. First up is the episode Nautical Novice, yet another Mrs. Puff banger of an episode. I really like this episode, so check out the setup. Maybe tomorrow if I can impress Mrs. Puff with an extensive knowledge of boating history, she'll give me a boating license on the spot! Ah! Hey, wait! Hey! Mrs. Puff! Please stop the bus! What was that? Nothing! Step on it! <laughs> no worries. I made it. Man, SpongeBob was very committed to getting on that bus and he succeeds. But let's rewind a little bit. As back during the beginning of the episode, there are two really bad mistakes, guys. Let's see if you can catch them. Which brings us to the subject of rudder maintenance. Barnacles, just as we were getting to the nitty gritty. Wait a minute, class. Remember, we will not be here tomorrow. We will be going on a field trip to the boating museum. Now run along, kids. Yeah! 
So first up is this one, which I don't think I need to say much guys, for about two frames this incidental just loses her shirt, and I actually think the animators did this on purpose because why are her breasts like drawn? The other mistake is this one. So as you can see, this girl is wearing pearls, but for one frame, two of them turn black, which was just another weird mistake. There's another one later on in the episode. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. Welcome class to the boating museum. This enormous vessel was once the largest in all the seas, but now that it's been converted into a museum, it no longer moves. This one's kind of funny. So as you can see in this first shot of Incidental 14, she has no belly button. You can see, right? You can see her stomach, there's no belly button. But then, randomly in this shot, she now has a belly button. So a weird continuity error. Not that big of a deal, but hey, the ones I have coming up are spicy. Our first set of mistakes can be found in the episode Plankton Retires. An episode where, well, I mean, the title kind of explains it. Here, check it out. Mr. Crab, did you see that? Plankton is retiring! Yeah, so turns out, Mr. Krabs has beaten Plankton down so much that this man, this evil little dude, retires. It's crazy, but hey, maybe there's a twist. Before we get to that though, let's take a look at the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. He covered me in urchins, fed me to a seahorse, and stung me to death. I am head in the... Oh, I think someone needs their papa. Don't you see? We're done here. He said for the nine billionth time. You know, Sheldon, if I had a dime for every time you... Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. When we first see Karen, as you can see, she isn't plugged into anything. There's no cable coming out of her computer body. But literally a second later, and look at this shot, as now Karen is plugged in and requires to be like powered, making for a really weird mistake. Here's another one. Just like this one, let's see if you guys can catch it without my help. How long will you be staying with us? Forever. And so begins my retirement. <laughs> you see there, lad? Plankton is up to no good. Yeah, so I was right. There is a twist, as you can see, but also more importantly, um, what's going on with Plankton's eye? His, like, pupil is just gone, and it looks really awkward. Let's move on to some even crazier mistakes, though. Oh boy, this next episode really packs a punch, probably because it's all about karate. Here, take a look at the plot. It's a really good one. Who is this intruder that fails to attack me? That's my friend, SpongeBob SquarePants. Whoa. You know karate? He doesn't just know karate, he is karate. Fuzzy's here to test me for the highest belt in karate. But, Timmy, you already have a black belt. Yes, but there's one even higher than that, the blacker belt. Gee, if you want a belt, you must earn it. Okay. But how can anyone ever truly know whether he or she is worthy? It is simple. I conduct a series of tests, and if you pass, I will give you a belt that shows you no... Know Karate. Like I said, the episode has a really cool plot, with Spongebob training to get his karate belts, and he does in the end, but at the same time, there's also a mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Yeah! I was wrong about you, Spongebob. You are now a karate master. Here. For me, you are terrible! Oh, God, oh, no. Sandy, what's wrong with Fuzzy? I know what he needs. He just needs this! Oh, mommy. 
This one is really bad, but as you can see, Sandy's entire body like duplicates for a frame. And no, this isn't like an animation technique. This was a straight up mistake. And here's another one. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Boy, I can't wait to show Sandy my new karate move. Ah! Oh, Sandy. Sandy's in trouble. Don't worry, Sandy. I'm coming to save ya. Yeah, yeah, this one admittedly isn't as bad, but um, why is SpongeBob's teeth yellow? A fairly common SpongeBob error, but it's still a mistake and it's still worth mentioning. And the one coming up in this next episode is crazy. So as I just said, the next episode is Yellow Pavement. And this is really cool, as if any of you have seen the season five episode Boat Smarts, they're very similar where it's Miss Puff presenting an educational film about driving. Here are some clips. Check. Tire Oil Check. 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 It's a bit of a weird setup for an episode, but I totally get it and I'm into it. It's really funny seeing all of the different driving scenes, but let's get into the mistakes. They're spicy. Here's mistake number one. Here we have the cunning little old lady. This one happens really fast, but as Squidward, like right as he goes off screen for a single frame, there's something up with his face. Looks really odd. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out what's going on here. I feel bad for Squidward. But let's move over to mistake number two. This one's even crazier. The common fruit vendor. <laughs> So right after Squidward nearly kills this like orange version of Patrick, like doesn't this guy look exactly like Patrick? He eventually runs into these two dudes carrying a piece of ice. And take a look at this incidental right here. As you can see, he's wearing his work uniform, which is brown, but take a look at like his arms and his chest. As he's wearing like a blue shirt underneath the brown part of his outfit. I know I'm really explaining this, but remember this. As when Squidward jumps the piece of glass, look, that undershirt has completely changed and it's now the same color as like the brown part. It's just all brown. I'm kind of overthinking this one, but hey, it's still a continuity error. And let's move over to our final episode for our spiciest mistake. Our next episode is a SpongeBob classic. I'm talking about Krabby Land. This episode is all about Mr. Krabs coming up with a new scheme to get money out of kids on summer vacation. Here are some clips. It's hilarious. You see, boy, during the summer, the children are excused from their classes. A recess commonly referred to as summer break. I guess summer isn't coming this year. Hey, maybe they're all at that new playground over there. Playground! Learn away, me young customers! Just look at them, SpongeBob. So weak and malnourished, with nobody trying to sell them nothing. <laughs> Breaks me heart. <laughs> the way you drove the boat, the lying on the ground was kind of cool. But that's not going to get these munchkins away from this playground. Unless... Spongebob! You're just in time for the grand unveiling of Krabby Land! Here we go! I give you... Krabby Land! Now, as funny as this episode is, it does have two mistakes that are very easy to miss. Another day, another dollar. Gee, I wonder what Mr. Krabs has been up to since I saw him last and then went home to do nothing of particular interest till this very moment. So as you guys seen, Krabby Land is meant for little kids. But during this scene where we see like this big lineup of people waiting, we can see numerous adults incidentals. They're supposed to be kids, but the animators put adults instead, which was a mistake. Here's another one though, and let's see if you lovely people can spot it yourselves. 
They seem to respond to me being in pain. They enjoy other people's misery. This one is definitely easy to miss, but this incidental right here loses their eyes, well their pupils, not their actual eyes, but the pupils in their eyes for about like a second. It looks really rough, but stay tuned guys as I have some even crazier mistakes coming up. So this next episode, Gullible Pants, has three very complicated mistakes, so I'm just gonna get right into them. Here's the first one, let's see if you guys can catch it yourselves. 451, 452, 453, 454, 455, 450, ah! Like I said, this one is very, very complicated, so take a look at this shot. As you can see, Incidental 92 is eating with Incidental 51. They're having a nice meal together. But like seconds later, and now Incidental 92 is eating with a completely different fish. The other mistake is quite similar. In that opening shot, we can see Incidental 48 eating with Incidental 41. But then, seconds later, and now Incidental 48 is eating with a completely different fish in seconds so definitely a mistake and there are a ton of mistakes in this one section it's pretty bad there's some crazier ones coming up though so stay tuned next up is the episode free samples where plankton comes up with a really good scheme like this was a smart one take a look <laughs> what do i owe the excessive volume of this giggling you may thank my new and original idea darling free sample once everyone gets a taste of my delicious chum no tear this place apart to get some. Plus, it's free. And who can resist free? Tip right up for your free samples of delicious chum. Hey, what did he just say to us? I just said they're free. Eat up. <laughs> what? I had no idea the chum was this rotten. I better not be here when all this agony turns to anger. <laughs> So as you just seen, Plankton just made a bunch of bikini bottomites very sick. But what he does that's very smart is he lies and says that the chum is actually from the Krusty Krab, eventually leading us to this scene, which also has our first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. It's all over for the good old Krusty Krab. It's probably best if you start looking for a new job, boy. Maybe in a different line of work. Well, only one thing left to do now. I'll have to move back in with me, Ma. Five minutes later. Now this one is very, very sneaky, as take a look at this fish right here. As you can see, he's wearing this bright red shirt. Remember this, it's it's kind of fresh, but literally seconds later and his shirt like changes to a pink shirt. It looked like this at first, but now it looks like this. Talk about a big mistake. And of course, there's another one. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. I had no idea the chum was this rotten. <laughs> Hey, he's making a run for it. We can't let him get away with this. Let's get up and... Get him. Hey, what's all the hubba? Oh, didn't you hear? Someone's giving away free Krabby Patty. Again, this one is very sneaky, and it has to do with audio. So when we first see this fish right here, he has this voice. Hey, he's making a run for it. We can't let him get away with this. Let's get up and... But then, when we see him again... Hey, what's all the hubba? Oh, didn't you hear? Someone's giving away free Krabby Patty! His voice is completely different now. Like, his voice changes halfway through the episode, which is totally a mistake. And I've got one more! Krabby Patties, anyone? Oh, <laughs> 
This one is very easy to miss, but if you look, Plankton laughs like his mouth moves for the animation of laughing, but I'm gonna play the clip again, listen as he doesn't make any noise, like there's no sound that comes out of his mouth. Next up is a very hilarious episode, that being the episode Dear Vikings, an episode where Spongebob writes a letter to Vikings and they actually respond and show up. Check it out. I, like I said, really funny episode. Dear Vikings, I am writing to ask you guys about your lives and stuff. If you would take the time to answer all my neat questions, then that would be really swell. Your Majesty, look, a letter. How incredibly interesting. I must read it at once. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. May I take your order? Dear Vikings, our chieftain sent us here because we got this letter. SpongeBob, there's some Vikings here to see you. See, I told you, really funny. But what isn't so funny is the mistake hidden in this episode. It's very easy to miss. Let's see if you guys can spot it on your own. Regular, large, and the new Viking size. But Mr. Krabs, these are all the same size cup. And don't forget, each participating patron who purchases any drink of our new Krusty Krab Viking size cup gets a chance to try on this genuine cardboard Viking helmet. Mr. Krabs? What's a Viking? Oh, well, uh, the Vikings lived a long time ago. So as you can see in this shot, SpongeBob has holes or pores on his sides, right? Because, you know, he's a sponge. But during this one shot of the opening, his pores are just gone. The, they're just missing. Talk about a mistake, especially when they were there literally seconds before. Don't click off yet though. This next mistake is crazy. And last but not least is the episode, A Skin Wrinkle in Time. Now, this one isn't necessarily new. If you're a longtime SpongeBob fan, it came out a while ago, but it's still a really good episode and I found a new mistake. So let's just dive right into the mistakes. Here's the first one, it's really bad. Sweet Neptune, have I found the beginning of the universe? <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> So here's the thing, when Grand Pat arrives in this place, we get a shot of the Krusty Cantina and it looks like this, right? You can see that somebody hand wrote it and it says Krusty Cantining, right? Which is incorrect because in every other shot, it looks like this and says Krusty Cantina. It's supposed to look like this, Krusty Cantina, but the mistake is that in this one shot, it was written incorrectly and it says Krusty Cantining, whatever that means, it makes no sense. But let's move over to this episode's second mistake. Now that's a good looking baby. Well, this is my stop. See y'all later. Get out there. Man, Grandpad gets himself into some ridiculous situations. But anyways, as you can see this cowboy looking dude right here, he has a long sleeve t-shirt on. And at the ending of the long sleeve t-shirt, there's like these cuffs on his white shirt. But as he jumps for about a frame, these change to the same color as his skin. So a really weird animation error here. Like I don't know how the animators messed it up. It's very strange. Our next set of mistakes can be found in the episode, Can You Spare a Dime? An episode where Squidward quits his job, and well, this happens. He ends up living with SpongeBob and pushing it way too far. Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. Squidward? Squidward, is that you? I've lost my job, my home, everything. Even your paintings? Nobody would take them, so I had to eat them. There, there. You can come live with me. Okay, but just till I get a job, one day, Two days tops. Nonsense, you stay as long as you need to. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Meow, meow, meow. I know! 
Oh, he still isn't looking for work. Don't rub it in. Yeah, like I said, Squidward takes things way too far and kind of takes advantage of SpongeBob's kindness, eventually leading to these next set of clips. And there's also a mistake hidden in these clips. Let's see if you guys can spot it. It's about time you got here. Here you go, your majesty. I can't drink that. Why not? That lemon has three seeds in it. That's an odd number! Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! What are you saying? So here's the thing. This is how SpongeBob gets to the Krusty Krab. He comes out of his house and he goes to the left. We've seen this in many episodes, right? The Krusty Krab is to the left of SpongeBob's house. But in this one shot, SpongeBob goes the complete opposite way. He goes to the right, which is definitely a mistake. The episode Trident Trouble is a pretty good episode. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I do like the premise of the episode. The setup's really funny. Here, take a look for yourself. Behold this idiot. And beware, for tried and trouble comes. No, the toppings haven't been prepped. I wish this lettuce and tomato would just cut themselves up. Let's do this! Can we go? <laughs> Now to be honest, this episode only really has like one mistake and it was hard to find. But during this scene where SpongeBob uses the magical trident to help this dude, well, take a look for yourself. Let's see if you can catch it. What's wrong, Grass? Why won't you grow? Talk to me. Yeah, it happens fast, but for about one frame, this dude loses his entire mouth. It's crazy. And this is a fairly common mistake, but it's, again, still a mistake. And I've got more. Let's be real. It's kind of strange, but SpongeBob's iconic pineapple home is, well, iconic. But what if I told you in the episode Home Sweet Rubble that SpongeBob almost loses his house? Take a look. The house must be settling. Well, that's better. I can fix this. I'll feed you when I'm done. Okay, now that that's taken care of, time to feed Gary. Now this episode has two mistakes, and the first one is like really weird. I don't know how they missed it, but let's see if you guys will miss it. I don't think you guys will. Comment it if you find the mistake. I'm having another eggs and pencils crisis. Not now, Patrick. And Squidward has done a great job holding it all together. Against my will, I'm on earth. Will you help? Well, I suppose I could join the cause. But it'll have to be our standard deal. A week of my wages per hour? You got it, kiddo! For those who couldn't find it, well, let's zoom in on SpongeBob's arm, as his arm actually is slightly detached from his body. Like, you can see it's like his arm is falling off of his body. Really bad mistake. And here's another one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. <laughs> So take a look at this image. As you can see, this is Patrick's iconic rock home. I mean, I don't know who would live in a rock or under a rock, but it's here. And as you can see, there is a path. But in the episode we were talking about during the scene you just seen, where's the path? It's gone. 
yeah, an another mistake, it's a bad one. Now, that's going to do it for today's video, guys, but I wanna give a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang. Like seriously, shout out to all of you guys, especially the Premiere Gang. Anybody here at a Premiere right now? Yo, 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 yo. By the way, if you're new, make sure to subscribe as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, I'll respond for sure. Anyways though, I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.